course! Oh. <laughs> Let's keep it. Oh. Just right when I got that drink, it's some delicious map surge. <laughs> <laughs> We, we need 500% of the profits. I hate to get rid of the camera. <laughs> okay, let's sit down. There's like no space. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's plenty of space. It's open so out. Oh, thank you. Stretch out and everything. Down. Oh, Move down. Bossy, bossy. <laughs> 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 The captain demands it! Uh, yeah, I the microphone goes that far! Versus for they don't have this. We don't get a That's more scary, angry man. It's having right for us! It's already here! <laughs> 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 Well, my view is a little blocked slightly. Is anyone sitting here? Okay, I'm just gonna say if you can't see me, stand up. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'll stand up. People in the front row stand up. Do you mind just saying up? That's fine. Yeah, no, I I hate it when just like people are just like, no, I won't stand for them. I'm gonna stand for this. Okay, but when you're introduced. Uh, Brad Jones, Thank I play you. the Sydney Bank. St. Jason Morgan's wants it back. <laughs> Jason wants it back. <laughs> what? Wait, funny. Hey, I'm back! back. <laughs> you forgot something. Okay, okay, oh, yeah. Well, anyway, yeah, I'm the guy who watches exploitation movies and pornography and uh, yeah. the <laughs> stuff that, uh, that not many people get in front of uh, the camera online in front of a lot of people and admit that they've seen. But I have seen E.T. before now. <laughs> and talk about it. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> well, the game was better. <laughs> That's the only good recommendation for the game. It's not the porno. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Horrible things don't happen to him in the game, but in the movie, at least in the movie, I mean, it looks like he's enjoying it. So I, I guess that's something. You can't really tell him the game. He's like a great dot. I assume he doesn't want to be in those skits. He keeps trying to get out and he's falling back in. <laughs> Say, give me <laughs> <laughs> okay. For those who don't know, I'm sure you all know, but I will say it again. I am Doug Walker. I am that guy with the glasses. I do several shows like uh, How to Be a Pirate and Ask That Guy with the Glasses, Bum Reviews, Video Game Confession, and probably the best known as Nacho Critic. And oh, you got some soap. What? 
Oh, uh, yeah, I've got uh, I got uh, some prints of some title cards and all that all that good stuff. Uh, Campbell Holocaust title card, me with a pole on my ass. <laughs> right on the pole. <laughs> Um, that was, uh, honestly, growing up, that sort of started my whole nostalgic phase, is that when YouTube came out, I saw these commercials, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> you know, and I just found, like, before I did any of this, like, those were really relaxing to me, like, when I got really stressed out, my job was really pissed me off, or something like that, just, or college, or something, I just put those out, and just be like, ah, oh, he's such a slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it really was sort of, like, in the video, it's really pathetic, I'm not gonna say it's cool or anything, but, uh, <laughs> Just watching it, just one day my brother came in, we just started making fun of it. It's like, we should just make this a video. This is pretty funny. So um, yeah, and it seems so overwhelmed, people seem to like it, so we'll definitely do uh, definitely do more of those. Uh, yeah, the right hat. Uh, red shirt. Sure. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to ask, uh, where did you come from here? It's like uh, the bottom and uh, I asked that guy with the glasses and uh, pirate. Um, uh, wait, wait, see, Bob was pretty much when I did the, uh, the Clover, uh, when I reviewed Cloverfield. As an astonishing critic, I just shook the camera and did this voice like, Oh my god, bro, look at the guy! And I just really like that voice, and so I was like, I gotta make a character out of that, it's way too much fun. And I'm like, uh, oh, well, he sounds like a bum, okay, I'll make him a bum, what's he doing? Uh, I'm not doing current reviews, okay, he's doing current reviews. Um, so that's pretty much that. Ask that guy was just, uh, my CEO, Mike Michelle, was like, Ask the Ninja's popular, do ask that guy. <laughs> okay, well, what does that guy be? Well, I'd be very sophisticated. I'd be asked God in the room with the pipe, and I would never get the answer right. So, and then from that, he spawned in this horrible, terrible creation. The pirate was just drunk. He's like, I hear you. And nostalgia critic is just like, yeah, I mean, everybody has an obsession with nostalgia to get to that point, so hey, why not be funny all the time? I'll see you on a flight club. Why did you make the Heat Stock Gold show about Bob Lee and Neil Gaiman? I bet mean, you probably asked me a question too about Heat Stock Gold. Yeah, in the, in the Langoliers review, I didn't make a uh, Quantum Leap show. I didn't watch Quantum <laughs> Leap. Every time I saw he was in drag, I'm like, ooh, sign me up. <laughs> That's the guy from Dude. <laughs> He's some dude. Heat Stock Gold, he was a who do you play dude? I don't remember his character. Like, <laughs> blame my brother for that, because he's the Dune fan. These guys are Dune fans. I'm not. I, I, I like that mini series. That was cool. But uh, yeah, there are stuff I couldn't get into. Uh, let's do Orange Head. Only Orange Head. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, where did you. Why? What possessed you to do a bomb review of this time? That was the one last year. That's actually my brother's fiance's idea. It's just like, you know, it's always snowing. I was like, let me play a Jester cover. And I'm like, yes, it would. <laughs> of course, we did it really early, so it looks like nothing. But try, it was like it was like up to here. Yeah, but here, you do, what, he rolled around in it. Talk about that. Yeah, you, yeah, that was the same kind of thing, too, because in the video where I rolled around in the snow in a suit, which I just continued wearing for the rest of the day. Uh, oh, I changed. Uh, Dry. <laughs> uh, I did the same thing, like uh, snowstorms, uh, it was all over the news and everything, snow again, blah blah blah, so I did this like, well let's see what it's like outside, ran outside, rolled around in the snow, uh, and it was sort of the same thing, like in the video, it, it looks, it know, looks timid, but it's yeah, like, it, it was, eventually it, it got yeah. pretty bad, like, if I had done that later on, it probably would have been a three hour video of me. Digging myself out. <laughs> you can see a little bit of his hair. <laughs> yeah. I have like four foot nine and all this stuff. Let, let, let's do Jason over there. He was holding up his side. Brad. Jason Borey. In your Night Trap the movie review, you asked the question, why do I own a copy of Night Trap? That's a good question. Why exactly do you? Because, and and I, I say this without, without kidding at all, uh, the Sega CD, it probably is my favorite game system. <laughs> really? Because I, 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 <laughs> because I love two things. I love two things. I love I love older video games and I love cheesy movies. That system is a combination of both. <laughs> like, what do I want to do? Do I want to play a really bad game or do I want to watch a terrible movie? I know. I'll just play Double Switch. <laughs> Yeah, that knocks that out. Yellow shirt. <laughs> I, I, I did the 
mid over there is so I'm not going to hit you. Um, <laughs> now, every time like, somebody sees me do it at a con, like, then everybody turns, yeah, I suck. <laughs> 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 right, anytime any I do that screaming at a con, like, everybody tries it, just like, okay, dude, I lose my voice very easily because of what I do, so I'm not going to do it like three times. Uh, would I really use it? Uh, maybe in a burning. You know, <laughs> I don't know how I could fill, you know, even a couple minutes of that. It's just, it's already so wonderful, I don't know how to respond to it. So, um, probably not unless I can think of something. So, uh, but this is not over, bass! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I didn't, I didn't care about the real sewers, it's 3D. Yeah, 
Probably the one that was the most difficult to sit through, right for all that stuff. I mean, it is my least favorite movie, is Garbage Pail Kids. Uh. Well, I mean, just an ugly <laughs> movie by every definition of the word. I mean, just a hideous way. And I think the lesson is, you know, nobody's ugly. No, that movie's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, you know, and Close Runners Up, actually, uh, Junior, because it was just so difficult to get jokes out of that. It was so boring. And uh, probably the Godzilla remake. Because, again, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's dull. You know, uh, yeah, outside of Roger going, that's a lot of me. I mean, he's just a train wreck all in and all that stuff. Everyone's like, why don't you do an old versus new of the producers? I'm like, you know, oh, Broderick's in that one? That, that one wins. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you, know, you put Broderick in, fail! <laughs> you know, with the exception of me, Fair Steelers Day Off, you know, that, that was going to make it. But, uh, uh, yeah, what well, wasn't a fan of um, Dog Link. Oh, oh, you know what? That's another one. That was our one where we, my brother and I were just like, <laughs> like, what the hell are we going to do? It is actually like, okay, we're going to a con. Let's just film it there so we can think it's from the director else. of Porky's. <laughs> <laughs> and a Christmas story. Yeah. A Christmas Porky's. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just sort of told people, like, when I came in, I was just like, okay, this is going to be for a review, I'm just going to say something to you, you know, don't react to it, you know, I just look confused. So, um, <laughs> so that was that, and then just walking around the con every once in a while, I just go up to someone and just be like, hey, you want to get punched in the face? You <laughs> know? <laughs> so, that's pretty much how it works, I'm just walking around, but it's just filming, because I know I just do voiceover later anyway, so, uh, so not the ton of people, actually, we kept getting stopped a lot, so, uh, uh, yeah, very interesting. Uh, let's see, let's see, yeah. Have you ever um, had a movie up for review and then you uh, started watching it trying to get the jokes and then you realized, hey, this is actually pretty good? Like the movie's pretty good? Yeah, like I, oh, I, I, I think, think that's probably a good question for you. Uh, yeah, actually that happens <laughs> quite a bit because I like exploitation anyway and the character that I play isn't myself, it's a character right. and the character very much is video riffing it as opposed to reviewing it, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah, so there's a lot of them that I watch that that, that, that I like, but I'm just kind of video ripping it and making fun of it all the with, Leprechaun. with the movie. Leprechaun. I actually do enjoy Leprechaun. <laughs> um, but, uh, so, so, but the, there are plenty that are just dreadful. Las Vegas bloodbath. <laughs> yeah, there, there are plenty that are, that, that, that are dreadful. But a lot of times with me, um, I haven't seen the movie before I've done the episode. It used to be that I've seen it, I saw it prior anymore. Not really, because I sort of deliberately go after some pretty obscure stuff. Uh, you know, I do, even though I know that's problems, I do like Hulk. You know, I, 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 I think that's a fun movie. I'm sorry I missed Glenn Close in that movie. Who the hell could have told that was Glenn Close? <laughs> Everyone's just like, how did you miss Glenn Close? I'm like, where? And I go in, I'm like, I'm like that, that pirate was Glenn Close? You mean the, no, oh, yes I did. I'm like, her voice is like down here, and then Jimmy Buffett's in it too, and then, <laughs> yes. and, and, and then somehow I got Princess Leia and George Lucas oh, making it, which was, okay, that's pretty good, but still. <laughs> so just like, who would call them up and just as Steve Spielberg just like, okay, you know how you always want to lay Leia? Well, <laughs> here's your chance. <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't know how that would. Have you ever thought about revealing, uh, revealing uh, sci-fi channel original movie like Star the Blizzard Battle of Los Angeles? Again, that's not me. That would be more him. I did a video log. I did a vlog of uh, Battle of Los Angeles. Um, I sort of really like Battle of Los Angeles. I like it better than Battle of Los Angeles. <laughs> this one actually. I cared what was going on. <laughs> Battle of Los Angeles has a scene in it where a lady has a samurai sword, jumps off of a bridge, and cuts a ship in half. <laughs> <laughs> That's instantly better than anything. I gotta see that movie. <laughs> that right there makes it instantly better than anything in Battle of Los Angeles. There's a guy who travels through time at one point to help them out, and then turns out to be an android. And like, I don't know, it's, it's like really weird. Spoiler. They're like making up stuff but it's, I, I enjoyed that. I actually just quite enjoyed that. I'm gonna check that out. Dude, you had to do it. Let's do it. NERD! Night, Greg. You've already met me. This one's actually for Greg. You know why? Let's go get that one. There's been a couple of reviews. I've been sitting here thinking, how the hell do you go through with this? 
and actually try to, you know, watch it. <laughs> I mean, they're just so horrible to my eyes, and I'm not even watching the full thing. Well, because I'm watching it looking for jokes, so it, it would, some of them it would probably be a little different if I was sitting there and just taking it all in and just watching it just for the sake of watching it, but I am watching it with like my laptop set up and looking for jokes and writing down stuff that I'm thinking of. So sometimes that can, 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 can help. <laughs> Uh, but but there there are some like Chatterbox, and, like Chatterbox and the Superman musical, or even sitting there writing jokes for it. It's like I am so much dumber now watching this. <laughs>